Today, brothers and sisters, I want to introduce the how to spot a fake training module. It's uh, searching what I titled, put in the title, is searching for authentic Christians and Christianity. And what this training module dives into is the danger of false teachers. And I would also add false Christians. Now, if you've already and hopefully you've already uh, went through the discipleship series whereby you will learn what authentic Christian discipleship looks like and the goal of every Christian. It's not just salvation, it's discipleship to be a worker. The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. But what we get here in authentic Christianity and authentic Christians, uh, if we go to Second Peter chapter 2, the Apostle Peter begins in verse 1 of chapter 2 in 2 Peter, but there were also false prophets in Israel, just as there will be false teachers among you. They will cleverly teach destructive heresies and even deny the master who bought them. In this way, they will bring sudden destruction on themselves. Verse 2 says, many will follow their evil teaching and shameful immorality. And because of these teachers, these false teachers, the way of truth will be slandered. Now, in this series, it's a six, ten video training series from various pastors and it will go through second Peter 2 and it will also go into not just from the physical a false teacher but uh, John addresses the spiritual in 1 John 4 and it's our job as Christians to discern to develop a level of discernment because it's not just the individual. When we look at the way John, John the Apostle John puts it in 1 John 4 verse 1, it's, it says, Beloved, and he's talking to believers, Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God. For many false prophets have gone out into the world. Verse 2, by this you know the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is from God. And every spirit that does not confess Jesus is not from God. This is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you heard was coming and now is in the world already. Now, John was writing this letter to first century Christians. So from the first century to our century, almost 2000 years later, the spirit of the Antichrist is in the world already. And so we have teachings on testing the spirits, how to test the spirits, what to look for. So in this module, which I titled How to Spot a Fake, this is going to raise a Christian's level of discernment up. It's going to sharpen your discernment. It's going to open your eyes so that you can see not, 
into the spiritual. You can peer into and be able to discern those who are operating in the spirit of God and those who are operating in the spirit of the Antichrist. That's basically what John is saying here. He's giving you the glasses to peer into that spiritual realm to develop your spiritual senses so you not just look at the physical well this individual is a false prophet as we discussed in Peter the immorality the shamefulness uh, of their teaching the evilness what he says in verse 2 many will follow their evil teaching and shameful immorality and because of these teachers the way of truth will be slandered in their greed verse 3 they will make up clever lies to get hold of your money. Oh, but God condemned them long ago and their destruction will not be delayed. So the apostle Peter addresses a more practical that is just the individual but when we get into John 1 John 4 John is telling us hold on there's a spirit behind and influencing the physical influencing the individual as Christians we are to walk in the Holy Spirit for if we're walking in the spirit we will not gratify the desires of the flesh well, these individuals, as we see in John, these false prophets, false teachers, and I would even add false Christians, unfortunately, are operating in a, another spirit, the spirit of the Antichrist. See, that takes you a little deeper when you look beyond the individual. And see that they have covenant with the spirit of the Antichrist. That they are operating in conjunction with, in covenant with, not the Holy Spirit of God. Although they put on the robes and they, they have clever uh, 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 sermons. They are teaching heresies. They are denying the master who bought them. That's why the Apostle Paul says, if anyone comes to you with a different gospel, a gospel outside of what we have preached, let them be accursed. And it's hard to discern, especially if you're a new Christian, even an older Christian, you've been churched for many years, decades, and you, you haven't really become a true disciple of Jesus Christ because you are unaware of these false teachers who have come into the church even in the first century, the, the Apostle Peter says there, also, there, there were also false prophets in Israel when we were there in the first century. And they lead you astray. They're not pushing discipleship. They're not pushing authentic Christianity. And they deny the master who bought them to do that. They may say Christ, they may say the gospel, but when they don't preach on sin, there are many churches and famous, very popular so-called Christian pastors who don't feel comfortable their own words preaching about sin preaching and teaching on sin well if you don't preach on sin then what does Christ have to do with what you're teaching because that's the master who bought them 
the death on the cross has everything to do with the sins of this world. So how can we have a relationship with the God of salvation who brought salvation, the Lord who on the cross gave his body and blood for the sins of the world? You see, you, you can teach, open up your Bible and have a teaching, but if you never bring up the price that was paid, the grace of God, which paid that price, then what are you teaching on? That's that cleverly devised destructive heresy that many churches in the evangelical community are putting out there. Liberal theology, prosperity theology. Oh, we don't want to talk about sin. Well, how can you talk about Christ when he was sent in the world for sin and you don't talk about sin? That's denying the master. That's denying the work of the master who bought them. That's the whole purpose of the cross of Jesus Christ. You can't get anything else. <laughs> You can't get all of the prayers and the blessings and all of the the uh, uh, spiritual uh, uh, blessings that have been given to Christians. You can't you get none of that without the cross, without the work of Jesus Christ for the express purpose of sin. So, brothers and sisters, in this training module, uh, 10 messages on how to spot a fake. How to find authentic Christians and Christianity to know what to look for, to guide you in this world so you don't sit at the feet of a false teacher. That's why the Apostle Paul, the Apostle Peter and the Apostles John. And then I also want to say, let's go to Matthew 7. Even Jesus, the master who bought us, says in Matthew 7, verse 15, Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly are ravenous wolves. You will recognize them by their fruits. And the disciples just expounded on Jesus' teaching where Peter says their, their, their immoral immorality, their shameful immorality. They make up clever lies to get hold of your money. The way of truth will be slandered just like today. They say, well, Christians, all Christians are fake. They're hypocrites. When I try to talk to people about, I bring up Jesus and, and do some evangelism with my friends, they say, well, <laughs> most Christians are hypocrites. Well, that's the fruit of these cleverly devised destructive heresies that don't teach on sin, that don't teach on discipleship. Well, brothers and sisters, pick up this series, watch it, and I also want to add, support the ministries that are present in these series. But until next time, brothers and sisters, may God richly bless you. And remember, it's about the doing, not just the hearing.
Yeah.